Hey fam, welcome back. Your favorite shift relationship strategist, Marshawn Olanio. You are watching Ask Marshawn. Now, the question of the day was sent in by Shaniqua and she is asking how can she attract a better mate? And I'm sure that this is a question that has been lingering out there for many of you and especially you who are watching this video. Now, before I answer her question, if you are watching this on YouTube and you want me to answer your question, then simply send me a message by responding to this video down below. If you are on Facebook and you want me to answer your question, simply respond to the video below, or you have the unique opportunity of sending me a direct message so you can DM me, especially if you want to rem remain anonymous. If you want to remain anonymous, then send me a DM. If you don't really care, then put it down below on the video. Now, if you are back, back to my YouTube, if you are on YouTube and you actually want to send in a private question, I have an email address down below. Do that as well. Now let's jump into Shaniqua's question. How can I choose a better mate? The short of the long answer is simply this. You have to become a better person. You have to become a better uh, woman. You have to become a better person partner you have to become a better parent if you will and you have to become an overall better person in order to attract a better mate because the truth of the matter is this most of us all of us have attracted someone of the opposite sex who is exactly where we are maybe in different areas and i'll explain that shortly what i mean by that is this if you are a person that never takes responsibility in your life. Basically, you have some type of weakness in your life and your weakness at this point is not taking responsibility, right? Your mate is also going to have a weakness that maybe he doesn't uh, run away from responsibility, right? But maybe, just maybe, he sucks at finances. Like he is all about showing the world how much money he has when in fact he really doesn't have any money at all his bank account is little to no money in there right he has the nice car he has a decent apartment it might be furnished maybe not because if you're living like a single man most single men that i know in the single especially in the 20s maybe in the early 30s they don't have a lot of furniture in their place i'm not stereotyping i just seen it <laughs> but we're gonna move past that that's beside the point the point is Maybe outwardly his finances look great and your weakness is you taking responsibility, right? So wherever you're at, you're going to attract somebody equal in that realm, right? So you live in the false life about you can take responsibility. He's living a false life about his finances. And so again, in order for you to attract a better mate, one that is higher <clears throat> and not necessarily higher money, but hire somebody that can bring somebody to the table, somebody that is emotionally stable, somebody that can have grown up conversations, somebody that is gonna still tell you exactly what they mean, but they're gonna say it in a loving way, they're gonna say it in a loving manner, but you're still going to understand their point of view. They're not gonna shame you, they're not gonna blame you, they're not gonna guilt you. So if you're looking for somebody that is at a higher level than you are, then and you want that type of man in your life, you have to become that type of woman. Now, how do you become that type of woman? It's going to take, now you can fast track it or you could take a long road. Most people decide to take the long road or they're even unaware of how to go about doing it, right? So the long road is really reading all of the books, taking the courses, talking to people that you see that have a pretty good relationship and what do they actually do? And then you could start taking on some of the things that you know are doable for yourself. That's the long road. The short road is talking to a specialist, a coach, a therapist, somebody that can help you get to the next level. Now, if you need some help like that, definitely send me a message and I can help you get from where you are today to where you actually want to be by choosing a better mate, by understanding the things that you need to do in order to get to that next level. I absolutely have a small group of black women that I coach, a small uh, group coaching program. Again, if you want to reach out to me in that way, then send me a, a direct message uh, if you're on Facebook, you can send a direct message. If you are on YouTube, then look down below for my email and send me an email about you wanting some help to get to the next level in your life. Now, again, that's the overall picture, which is also the short answer, even though I kind of elongated it here for you because I wanted you to get a better understanding of what it means to be a better person, a better woman. So not only do you have to 
become better. This is what improving your life actually looks like. So if you are a person that doesn't take responsibility, like my example, then you need to practice taking responsibility. You need to practice owning up to your stuff. You need to practice saying, I'm sorry. You need to practice saying, you know what? That's my fault. That's my bad. How can I make it better? What can I do to be better? And then literally practicing being better. Taking responsibility for your stuff. Taking responsibility for the things that you uh, fail short on, right? Just overall taking responsibility if that is your shortcoming. If your shortcoming is finances and you floss it for everybody out here, that's something that you can work on, literally. You can return the expensive car. You can move into a place that you can actually afford. You can start um, uh, doing money fast, if you will. They have like a 21-day challenge out there, money fast. I'm sure I, I know that there are books on this particular subject, like really going to get financially, uh, uh, be becoming financially responsible by understanding what finances are and what they can do for you. Start investing here and there, but really, you have to start investing in yourself first, which is the, the entirety of this video. In order for you to become better, right? In order for you to choose a better mate, you have to become better, which is improving yourself in the specific areas in your life. Now, is it going to happen all at once? Absolutely not. This is going to be a lifelong journey. And that's just, that's just the gist of it. However, if you do decide to invest in yourself, invest in your improvements, invest in improving yourself over the next couple of years, you will absolutely choose and attract a better mate. You just got to become better. It's not happening for you because you're not better. You may secretly be suffering from low self-esteem. You may secretly be suffering from self-confidence issues. You may secretly be suffering from the trauma that you never healed from. You're just running away from a lot of this stuff that... In order to attract a better mate, you got to face this stuff because this is also how you improve on your emotional maturity. This is literally how you keep your emotions in check. I'm not saying that you're getting rid of your emotions altogether, but you'll be able to articulate exactly what you're saying instead of coming off as a nag, instead of coming off as whiny. You can say, hey, this is the facts. Think more logically. And that is something that I've been saying here that we as women who are known to be and I say women, but I'm really meaning the feminine uh, partner, which is usually the woman, but not always, right? I know feminine men and the woman is masculine. Doesn't matter. The point is, who's ever more feminine in the relationship, we have to learn to be less emotional and think more logical. Go with the facts and not necessarily the heart all the time. I'm not saying never go with the heart. Absolutely not. But I'm saying not all the time. Every situation does not mean that you have to invest in what your heart is actually saying. So I hope that I helped you out, Shaniqua. For sure, for sure, for sure. You can attract a better mate by you becoming better. Again, if you, like Shaniqua, is out there that's saying, hey, I want some help with this. You know that you are ready to go. Again, send me a message. Look down in the description box below and look for my email address and go ahead and send me a message because I am all about helping my sisters improve themselves, right? First, ideally before you get into a relationship, however, if you're already in your relationship, then improving yourself because a lot of people think that you should leave. I'm just gonna leave and just go to the next person. Well, if you're not better, only thing you're going to do is drag all of your junk into your next relationship. I am Marshawn Olanio, your favorite shift relationship strategist, and I will see you on the next Ask Marshawn. Bye-bye, y'all.